Post-conviction DNA testing is simply is the is the I'd say the reinvestigation, the reanalysis, the review of settled cases by looking for DNA results that already exist in the case, or at times resampling evidence to look for DNA that might not have been uncovered during the uh, original investigation. What DNA, in my opinion, has done, the DNA, forensic DNA testing in the criminal justice arena has done, is it has exposed the fact that innocent people are convicted and, and even that guilty people are go free because of that. I can't imagine a stress much greater than finding out that a case that your agency worked, whether in its capacity as a forensic laboratory or as a police department, resulted in somebody being erroneously convicted. How do you how do you deal with that? Because if what draws us to the field is the idea that we are participants in administering justice, how do you deal with the blow of knowing that you participated in a miscarriage of justice? Well, is it fair to expect our criminal justice system to be 100% accurate? And I don't know that that's possible in any profession. Post-conviction DNA testing isn't something that we need to be afraid of. I think post-conviction DNA testing is something we need to encourage, right? If we open the Pandora's box and something untoward hops out, we want to know that. If you have, let's say, one and a half million criminal convictions a year, whatever the number is, and I think it's somewhere around there if I'm not mistaken, could be more. Um, if you had a 99.9 .9 success rate, that's still going to leave you with an alarming number of erroneous convictions.